Okay, the next thing I've done is I've taken the positive stop out of the right hand cylinder and I put it into the left hand cylinder. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do exactly the same test as I did earlier. And I'm going to rotate the crankshaft until I feel a positive stop on that way around. And that's reading 40 degrees. I'll turn it the other way around again. Let's see what I get on this side. And I get 20 degrees. So I add 40 and I add 20 and I get 60. I take half of that, which is 30. I deduct it from 40 and it takes it back to 10. And what that does is that tells me that the top dead center of the left hand piston is at 10 degrees. And if you remember when we did the test on the right hand cylinder, the top dead center was at 10 degrees on the other side of the chart. And that gives me complete and utter confidence that the two pistons are exactly 180 degrees opposite each other. It's not 170 degrees, it's not 175, not 179, but it's exactly 180 degrees because I've done those positive stop tests and I've worked that out. Again, I'll just show you, it positively stopped at 20, it positively stopped at 40, and halfway between those two is 10.